All right, hi folks. Um, today we're going to be going over an unboxing of the Universal Mobile Base by Jet. And then we're also going to be going over this uh, unboxing of the JDP-17 drill press that I got here. All right, let's, uh, let's get into unboxing this, this drill press. Super excited for this. Um, get this stuff out of the way. So this came in, um, delivered Monday uh, here a few, few days ago. I was actually in Germany. I was flying back from Kuwait when this got delivered. Not impressed by the shipping company, uh, South Southeastern Freight. Came from Rockler. They they outsourced or whatever you call it to this freighting company. They delivered delivered a bandsaw, not a bandsaw, a sander. There you go. I'm I put to call my roommate Chuck because he was in the country at least. And they called me. I had to call him to have him call him back. But it worked out. Now, when they delivered this, the guy shows up Monday. It just so happened I'm on a layover coming back from Kuwait. I'm in Germany. My phone rings. And it's the delivery guy telling me he's at my house. No coordination, no nothing. Claims that his, you know, his manager or office people made the made coordination to deliver. He has it on his paperwork that he's supposed to deliver between noon and six, whatever. Didn't call me, didn't talk to me at least, didn't talk to my, my roommate Chuck. So no coordination. The guy shows up. Luckily, Chuck only you know works five minutes up the road, so I was able to get in touch with him, and he came and took delivery. Um, for the most part, just frustrating. But the delivery, you know, it showed up in a, a few little scratches and dings here in the, in the cardboard box, but, but no major damage that I, I can identify. So as this thing weighs in at 201 pounds, so Chuck's going to come down and help me put this together, I believe. But for now, let's, let's go ahead and cut into it. I still don't have a bench or something better to, to put this on for an unboxing. So the garage floor, that works. Got your nice corner bands. We'll get this opened up and show you guys what's inside show myself what's inside heck i have no idea i don't know what this really comes with and what to expect but hopefully we're going to lay this stuff out right here in front where it can be seen so we got our three handles real nice nice ah uh, looks like a bag full of random parts and bolts and some grease and who knows what else? Let's see what this is here. This is probably the chuck. It is the chuck and the chuck key. Packed in grease, packed in its own little box. We'll leave that there. We got the table sitting here. We'll set it on top of that for now. That's got some weight to it. That's a that's a nice. Nice hefty piece there. It's packed well. Good solid piece of styrofoam there for the rest of this. Odd, oh, it is busted. That's all right. Ah, speak of the devil, Mr. Chuck. How are things, brother? I am recording. They won't be able to hear you, though. You're good as you walk in front of the camera. So we got a base. Once again, covered in packing grease. Heavy. All right, so next piece we have in here is the, the this piece, whatever the hell it's called. The stand, the neck, the base, not the base. We already pulled out the base. And the last piece that I see in here is going to be the actual drill head assembly. And I just, that sucker's going to be heavy. We're going to leave it there until we're ready to take it out. All right. So Chuck found the directions, taped to the inside of the, uh, the box there. Good things to have. And I get to correct the, the column and foot assembly. As I've been pointed out, I need to uh, use the correct terms. 
So we got the column and foot assembly. We have the table and bracket assembly. We have the, the, uh, the base. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put together the rolling assembly, the, the rolling stand, and get the base on it. it it's a 20, 20 by 13 assembly. Is that right? All right, so you guys can see what I did here. Real simple. I put the, I put the stand together. I just took this base. You can see it, it doesn't really fit left to right. It, it sits there. What I'm going to go ahead and do is cut a piece of plywood to fill that void and set this on, and then I'm going to mount it to the plywood, hopefully give a little more stability uh, to the height of this drill press. We're here at the table saw. It came out to 21 by 18, roughly 21 by 18. I don't know, give or, give or take a quarter inch, half inch. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to fit inside the, the base there. This isn't the, the most square panel that I have laying around, but it's scrap. So we're going to go ahead and, and cut this up. Got the, the saw set at 21 for the first cut, which should be what we need. So let's see what happens. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if this let's see if this fits in here. I like a glove. Perfect. So the idea is this is gonna sit like so. We'll get that squared up. Alright, so to make this as easy as I think I could, what I did, I grabbed a piece of scrap, put it on the back, slid this back so it's nice and square there. That's sitting right at three inches to the outside. A sixteenth, if maybe a thirty-second off. To the outside, so that is that is square enough for me. All right, I bought this center punch set uh, for a different project that I need to be more precise. But hey, you know, since I have it, might as well use it. Sure, make this marking easy. All right, so I ran down to Home Depot. What a disaster! I got the bolts that I needed. They didn't have two of the same length, the same type. Uh, it, it was just a mess. So I've laid out the rest of the parts here, um, some parts out of the package, pulled the, the bolts out that we need to attach the base here. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions. They say use the styrofoam packing to elevate this and then attach the base to it. So we're going to see if I can Go ahead and get that done. Maybe. It's not necessarily light, but it's it's manageable. All right, I'm gonna give up on this. Grab a real wrench. That work. Once I get these tightened up here, I'm gonna do the same thing and attach that piece of plywood to the base here. And I think once I get the plywood attached, we'll go ahead and set it in that mobile base and. Go ahead and tighten them up and maybe try to center this thing a little bit once I get it on here. All right, let's see how poorly this goes. Got the stand, got the rear, rear wheels locked. We'll just stand this up in there and a little crooked. I think it'll be okay. Maybe we'll get some of that sawdust out of there from the drill. Set that right in there. Back up a little bit. There it is. Yeah. Perfect. A little love tap to straighten it out. All right, so I lied. It wasn't good enough for me. So I went ahead and loosened them up. 
Uh, and luckily, there's just enough room under here. And if you can get it right, which I'm not, you can get this wrench, there it is, on the on that bolt head and get it tightened down with it on the actual sled. There it is. That's good enough for me. I think what I didn't do right is lift this back off. Throw that on the ground. Let's try this again now that we got it placed in there. See why this is a two person job. All right, so after my complete disaster trying to do this by myself, I got my buddy Chuck here. He's gonna help. Maybe we have this figured out. Maybe we don't. Time will only tell. I think what we need to do though is lift this up and it'll sit inside that notch. Maybe. Like that. And then it'll slide down together. It's not sliding down, there it goes. All right, so slide that all the way down to the bottom. It locks in at the bottom, it locks in at the top, voila. So much easier, people. Do it with a friend. <laughs> just, just find a friend, and this will slide on. Now this has a, a empty bolt hole in the back, and I say to place it in such a way that where you want your chuck to be at because it holds your chuck. So I'm gonna, I guess, kind of line it up on this side over here. And you'll tighten that back up. Are we straight? Yeah. Ish? Yep. So we should tighten that back up. And that should be what we need to do. Now what we want to do is we want to add the crank Make sure we got the right handle. Now the crank has a, an Allen key in here and there's a flat spot. A flat spot on that uh, pinion gear we installed earlier so it can tighten down and not slip. So it was pointed out to me that I had this on the roller base backwards. I couldn't move it around easy. So we, we switched that off camera. That was easy. Now we're gonna attempt to kill ourselves and mount the, the actual head of this thing. They say this is a two man lift or a two person lift or a two something lift. That's where it, that's where it has to actually mount to. Let's see if we can figure out how to even get it out of here. Okay, so the drill is, Ooh. okay, so that has to come towards, just the way it is right now. Ready? No. Tilt your way. Grab from underneath. Just don't grab that plastic on the top. Take it off. Oh, there you can. I thought you were saying that. Ready? Yeah. Ah. Just set that right down. Beautiful. That wasn't too bad. A little, a little awkward. Definitely glad I had a glad I had a friend. We're gonna try to line this up about straight, and then you lock it in with these two Allen keys. Comes with three decent feeling handles, rubber rubber grips on the end. They're just gonna screw right in. Got a 10 millimeter wrench to help tighten them up. My old one, my, uh, my Porter cable, these always used to come off. And also the, the rubber grips, they were hard plastic. They, uh, they just flat wouldn't stay on. All right, so I cleaned the arbor and the spindle and the chuck with a, a light degreaser as the directions tell you to. 
Now what they say to do is take the spindle and send it up until it fits in a home there and tightens into place. Second thing I want you to do is retract the chuck key or the, the teeth there all the way. Push the chuck into place and then pound it home with a mallet. I'd say that's pounded home. All right, so the last, the last two tools you have are the wrench that is take the bolts out for the, the table so it can tilt. It's got a nice magnet on it. I think I'm just gonna stick it underneath the table and hopefully it stays. And you also have uh, your drip pin, I believe is what that's called, to slide in and pop the, the chuck back out if you need to. All right, so we got the Jet 17-inch uh, drill press all put together. Got them out on the rolling base. If you watch that video, it, it's smooth. It rolls well. I, I'm very happy with the with the base and the setup. It's it's not not tippy enough that it's gonna actually tip over in the shop. I don't believe, and it's definitely stable enough when I'm when I'm using the the drill press. I have drilled very minimal with it yet, so I, I'll get a better review after a, maybe after a few months of, of use and and see how it uh how it performs but so far definitely very happy with it happy with the mobile base that it's on i'm looking forward to using it so if you like the video i appreciate you subscribe like the video uh, maybe hit the uh notification bell there'll be more videos coming out here shortly i'm going to have all the tools unboxed and set up and i'll be starting to build again i'm excited for that i think i got a wine rack maybe coming or a entertainment center but all right, guys. Enjoy your day.